So today I'm doing the Patrick Maroon rebuilding challenge. Basically, I have to trade or sign a player who's coming off winning a Stanley Cup. And then once I have that player, I have to win back to back Stanley Cups. So basically one player has to win three Stanley Cups in a row. Highlighting our team is going to be Brad Marchant, Jason Robertson, and Dylan Cousins. This first season doesn't really matter. This is probably the only challenge we're ever going to do where I don't want to win in season number one. I don't even know what I would do if that happened. But first we got to give out some extensions and make some moves. Robertson, 7.1 million per year for the next five. Dubois, five years at 4.9 million. Mike Hoffman's off to the Habs a fourth and a fifth. Eric Carlson's off to the Jets for a second and a third. And then a first, a second, two thirds to a fifth is off to Florida for Brandstrom. And then Brandstrom, I'm giving you a three-year extension at 4.6 million per. And our final move is sending Palat to Chicago for Marchman in a fourth. So I'll go ahead and simulate through the first 10 games and we'll see how we're looking. Through the first 10, we're looking average with a five and five record. And over the next 15, we stepped it up going nine and six. Through 50 games, we're looking average, 25, 22, and three, fifth in the Atlantic and 20th in the entire league. And to be fair, if we miss the playoffs this season, doesn't really matter whatsoever. Leading the team in points is Chandler Stevenson, 18 goals and 27 helpers for 45 points. Brian Marchand's coming in second, not too far behind with 43 points, but Jason Robertson is going to round up the top three with 10 goals and 31 helpers for 41 points. Josh Morrissey's leading the defense, 5 goals and 15 assists for 20 points, while Antti Bront has picked up 19 wins with a 906 save percentage and 286 goals against. On our way to the trade deadline, over the next 11 games, the team's going 6-3-2, and two. and really, I don't think there's any moves we need to make, because I don't really want to get rid of any contracts, and we're definitely not winning this season, so I'm not ready to go all in. So we'll simulate to the end of the season and see how we finish. When the season came to an end, we're finishing with a 41-34-7 and record, 5th in the Atlantic and 19th in the entire league, and that means we're missing the playoffs. But I'm perfectly okay with that. Brian Marchand's leading the way, 34 goals and 46 assists for 80 points, with Jason Robertson's picking up 23 goals and 51 assists for 74 points, and Chandler Stevenson, he's going to round up the top 3, finishing with 71 points. Josh Morris is doing his thing for the defense, 32 points, consisting of 13 goals and 19 assists, while Antti Bront is picking up 32 wins with a 908 save percentage and a 285 goals against. Leading all scores is going to be Alexander Ovechkin, who's dominating this season. 65 goals and 42 assists for 107 points, while Connor McDavid's not too far behind with 104 points. And not too far behind McDavid was Nathan McKinnon, 42 goals and 61 helpers for 103 points. Victor Hemmins leading all defensemen in points, 9 goals and 66 helpers for 75 points, while Francois is leading all goaltenders in wins, 39 wins with a 9-11 save percentage and a 262 goals against. When the playoffs came to an end, the Colorado Avalanche are beating the Florida Panthers in 6 games. Ovi dominated in the postseason, 20 goals and 9 assists for 29 points, while Barbara Roskies are Stanley Cup winning goaltender, 16 wins with a 918 save percentage and a 266 goals against. So taking a look at Colorado's team, I think we're going to trade for Troy Terry because I think he's the best option for us. Looking at the draft lottery results, Dallas is getting the first overall pick while we get the 14th. We had nine picks in the upcoming draft, but our best prospect was only a low elite potential center. Wasn't a great draft for us. Heading into free agency, we're making tons of moves. Klingberg, four years at 6.7 million. Manson, three years at 4.6. Ranta's off to Florida for two thirds. Jake the Snake's heading to Carolina for a fourth and a fifth. Don Cousins, I'm going to give you five years at 3.7. A prospect in a fourth is off to Buffalo from Mackenzie Blackwood. He's going to be our starting goaltender. Lars Eller is off to Chicago for a third and a fourth. And then Jeff Carter, I'm bringing you in on a one-year deal worth $1.8 And now it's time to acquire our guy Troy Terry. Kalorn, two-thirds and a fifth, is off to the Avs for Troy Terry and Josh Hosang. And then Troy, I'm going to give you a four-year extension at $6.2 Mayfield in the seventh is going to the Habs for Dermott. And then Phoenix Copley, you're coming here on a two-year deal at $1 million per. McKay have one year at 2.3, and then Radulov, one year as well at $2 million per. Josh Hosang is not sticking around too long. He's off to Vancouver for Burakovsky at third and a fourth. Jensen and two thirds are off to the Pens for Dennis Sanko and Kukunen. And then Dennis Sanko, I'm giving you a three-year extension at 3.5. And our final move, Mackenzie Blackwood, four years at 4.7 million. So now that we have our Pat Maroon and Troy Terry, it's time for us to win a Stanley Cup. Two Stanley Cups to be exact. Also, I'm trying to pass the Winnipeg Jets and subscribers on YouTube. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. And we're going to start the season off great as we're starting nine and one. But over our next 15, we're struggling going five, eight, and two. But that's not going to matter at the 50 game mark 35 13 and 2 we're first in the atlantic and first in the entire league brad marchand's dominating 32 goals and 30 assists for 62 points while jason robertson's picking up 12 goals and 30 assists for 42 points and chandler stevenson he's going to round our top three with 39 points leading the defense of course is john Klingberg, seven goals and 26 assists for 33 points while mackenzie blackwood he's picking up 26 wins with a 918 save percentage and 250 goals against and shout out to phoenix copley for holding it down as the backup he's doing his thing over the next 14 games headed to the trade deadline we're going eight and six so we got to make it least one move. So that means Mikheyev, Tanov, a third and a fourth is off to Buffalo for Bunting. And then Bunting, you're going to get a three-year extension at 2.4 million per. With that signing in the books, we're heading to the end of the season to see how we finish. When the season came to an end, we're finishing with a 52-26-4 record, first in the Atlantic and third in the entire league. Brian Marchand had another fantastic season, 50 goals and 44 helpers for 94 points, while Jason Robertson is picking up 72 points, consisting of 21 goals and 51 helpers. And Chandler Stevenson, of course, he's rounding up the top three with 67 points. John Klingberg is going to lead the defense at points, eight goals and 45 helpers for 50 
53 points, while Mackenzie Blackwood's picking up 40 wins with a 912 save percentage and a 263 goals against. Taking a look at the entire league, Mark Scheifele is going to lead all players in points with 100, consisting of 43 goals and 57 assists, while David Pasternak's not too far behind with 98 points. And not too far behind passes, Connor McDavid, 50 goals and 46 assists for 96 points. Kale McCarr is going to lead all defensemen in points, 50 goals and 65 assists for 80 points, while John Gibson's dominating this season, 49 wins with a 925 save percentage and a 222 goals against. In the first round, we're going to be taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto controls game one with five goals and they're taking a 1-0 series lead. But luckily, Dylan Cousins is evening the series at one game apiece with an OT winner. Two Sam Steele goals is going to lead to a 5-1 win and we're down two games to one. And then two Duclair goals is going to put us on the brink of elimination. And in game five, a late goal from Sam Steele is sending us home. Yeah, so the plan was to win back-to-back -back cups and then we lost in the first round. Yeah, that's tough. When the playoffs are coming to an end, the Carolina Hurricanes are winning the Stanley Cup. So that means we got to pick up some players from Carolina. Alexander Radulov led the team in postseason points with five. But who cares? We're out in the first round. Austin Matthews dominated in the postseason. 15 goals and 17 assists for 32 points, but too bad he's not taking home the cup. But Shesterkin, he is taking home the cup. 16 wins with a 914 save percentage and 260 goals against. Looking at this Carolina team, I'm choosing between Zadina and Jared McCann. Taking a look at the draft lottery results, Arizona's jumping from 2 to 1. We had 5 picks in the upcoming draft, but our best prospect ended up being a low elite potential defenseman. Now we gotta get to extensions and make a few trades. Dermot, I'm giving you 3 years at 2.5 million. Troy Terry, a second and a six, is off to Detroit for Hampus Lindholm. And then Stevenson, Lindholm, and a first is off to the Canes for Zadina and McCann. And then Zadina, you're getting a 2 year extension at 7 million per. Alexiak, you're off to the Canes for a second and a seventh. A prospect in a second is going to Seattle for Graves and a third. Poso, I'm gonna give you a 1 year deal at 2.5 million. Bunting, Burakovsky, and a prospect prospects off to Boston for Clayton Keller, and then two prospects and a fourth is going to the Sharks from McLeod. I feel like we're in a better position than last season. As long as we don't get upset in the playoffs, I think we should be winning our first cup. And we gotta do one more extension. Felino, I'm gonna give you two more years at 2.5 million. Through the first 10 games, I was expecting us to be a bit better as we're only going 5-3-2. And, and over our next 15, it wasn't much better. 6-7-2, and, and I'm a bit concerned about this team. Through 50 games, I don't know what's going on. 23-22-5, 7th in the Atlantic, 20th in the entire league. What's wrong with this team? Brad Marchand's dominant once again this season. 36 goals and 31 helpers for 67 points. McCann's picked up 41 points and Jason Robertson, he's even picked up 37. So I don't know who's holding us back. John Klingberg's leading the defense once again. 7 goals and 23 assists for 30 points and Blackwood, 16 wins and 897 save percentage and a 286 goals against. Yeah, I'm trading you right now. So Blackwood, a first and a fourth, is off to Detroit for Thatcher Demko. We're going right to the end of the season. I'm not making any more trades. Demko has to save us. And Demko did save us. 48, 28, and 6. 3rd in the Atlantic, 8th in the entire league. In the last 32 games, we went 25-6-1. We're by far the hottest team in the league, and we're going for a Stanley Cup. Leading the way for Tampa, of course, is Brad Marchand as he continues to dominate. 59 goals and 57 assists for 116 points. Well, Jason Robertson, he's a bit far behind with only 61 points. But that doesn't matter. We're dominating right now. And Clayton Keller, he's going to round the top five with 59 points. John Klingberg continues to lead the defense. 10 goals and 46 assists for 56 points. And Thatcher Demko, since being acquired, he's got a 23-4-1 record with a 932 save percentage and a 204 goals against. Yeah, as long as he keeps this up, we're winning a Stanley Cup. Taking a look at the entire league, Brad Marchand's of course leading the entire league in points, but we already knew that. Ranson, he's picking up 42 goals and 61 assists for 103 points, and Ovi, he's going to round out the top three with 99 points. Roman Yossi's going to lead all defensemen this time around, 19 goals and 53 assists for 72 points, and Thatcher Demko, he's leading all goaltenders in wins. In the first round, we're going to be taking on the Montreal Canadiens. Tampa's taking an important game one, four to two, and then in a close game two, Tampa's going to come out on top two to one, and we're taking a commanding 2-0 series lead. An OT winner from Yanmark's allowing the Canadians to avoid falling to a 3-0 deficit, but then eight goals from Tampa in game four is going to push up three games to one. And in game five, a 5-2 win is going to allow us to advance to the second round. In the second round, we're taking on the Ottawa Senators. Through an answer from the Sens is giving them game one, but a Demko 21 safe shutout is going to even the series. And then a 2-1 win from the Sens is going to put them back up again. A couple late goals is going to put us on the brink of elimination in game four, but in game five, two Marchand goals is going to keep us alive another day. And in game six, a late Robertson goal is forced in game seven. In game seven, a 3-0 leads too much to overcome, and we're coming back from a 3-1 deficit to reach the conference finals. A late Dennis Enkel goal in game one is allowing us to take a 1-0 series lead. A 4-2 win in game two is giving us a 2-0 series lead, and then two McCann goals is going to put Philly on the brink of being swept. A Skinner 34 save shot is going to allow Philly to avoid being swept, but an OT winner from Dennis Enkel is going to allow us to advance to the Stanley Cup final. So we were just rolling and I didn't want to screw anything up. I didn't even look at the playoff bracket, but we're playing Arizona and they're taking game one with an OT winner. Through an answer is going to give Arizona game two. Okay, yeah, we stopped rolling. 7-1, we're down three. We can't go out like this. Luckily, we were able to survive another day with a 4-2 win, and then 4 on answer is going to really keep us in the series. And now we're headed to Game 7. I don't know what's going on, but let's complete the impossible comeback. And I can't believe we just came back from 3-0 to win the Stanley Cup. We were down 3-0, coming back from a 7-1 loss in Game 3, and we just won the Stanley Cup.
Stanley Cup. Yeah, I'm ready to run it back. This team's built different. Brian Marchant, you were a beast. 16 goals, 15 assists, 31 points. Good work, my guy. And Demko, you're our savior. 16 wins with a 914 save percentage and 260 goals against. Not gonna lie, I feel like there's a video I did a couple weeks ago where Thatcher Demko was also the savior. I can't remember which video it was, but Demko's always at our back. Taking a look at the draft lottery results, the Islanders are jumping from 8 to 1. We had four picks, but no one notable. So now it's time to sign a couple rookies from the past few seasons. All right, this is kind of random, but Kyler Yamamoto at an 84 overall wants 10 million. 10 million per season for an 84 overall Kyler Yamamoto. Nah, bro is wilding right now. I don't know what he's talking about. Patch ready. I'm going to give you a one year deal at 3.4. Jake the Snake, you're going to come back on a one year deal worth 800K. And Joseph, I'm giving you one year at 2.3 million. Marshawn and Branstrom are both getting paid, but that doesn't really matter. We're winning our second cup this season, so those extensions don't matter. To start the season off, we're doing a bit better than last year with a 6 2 2 record, and we continue to roll over the next 15, going 8 5 and 2. At the 50 game mark, we're looking pretty solid 27 15 and 8, first in the Atlantic and fifth in the entire league. Brad Marchand continues to dominate 40 goals, 27 assists for 67 points. This man can't be stopped. McCain's picked up 40 points, Robertson's picked up 40 points, and everything's looking great. John Klingberg, of course, is leading the defense, one goal and 28 assists for 29 points, while Demko's picked up 25 wins with a 923 save percentage and a 222 goals against. Over our next 12 games heading towards the trade deadline, we went 7 4 1. So hear me out with this. Arizona's absolutely elite. Didn't think I would say those words, but we got to make them a bit worse. So I'm literally throwing everything at them to make their team worse by taking this medium elite player away from them. I even traded for Jacob Chikorin just so I could flip him because they really needed a defenseman. And that didn't work out, so Jacob Chikorin, you're sticking with us for the rest of the ride. When the season came to an end, we're looking great though. 46, 24, and 12. First in the Atlantic and third in the entire league. Brian Marchand, of course, dominated once again this season. He's picking up 107 points. On McCain, he's picking up 23 goals and 49 assists for 72 points. And Jason Robertson, he's going to round the top three with 24 goals and 42 assists for 66 points. John Klingberg, no surprise, he's leading the defense with 42 points. Odemko's picking up 38 wins with a 916 save percentage and a 244 goals against. Taking a look at the entire league, once again, Brad Marchand's leading the way. And Johnny Goudreau, he's going to come in second with 23 goals and 73 assists for 96 points. And the GOAT's going to round out the top three, 22 goals and 71 assists for 93 points. I'm just going to let that one sit for a second. All right, we'll move on to the defense. Roman Yossi's leading all defensemen in points, 20 goals and 52 assists for 72 points, while Allmark's picked up 45 wins with a 923 save percentage and a 225 goals against. Once again in the first round, we're going to be taking on the Montreal Canadiens. A 5-1 lead's too much to overcome and we're taking game 1, and then 5 unanswered is going to give us a 2-0 series lead. With 20 seconds left in the game, Tyler Myers is scoring, and Montreal is going to avoid falling to a 3-0 deficit. But two Dubois goals in game 4 is going to put us up 3 games to 1. Montreal is able to stay alive in game 5 with 4 second period goals, but a lone goal from Zadina is allowing us to advance in game 6. In the second round, we're taking on Detroit. Detroit's winning a close game 1-4-3, but we're responding in game 2 with an OT winner from John Klingberg. Two late third period goals is going to put us up two games to one, and then a Robertson hat trick is forcing OT. But in OT, Cole Perfet is going to score the OT winner, and Detroit's evening the series at two games apiece. In game 5, three on answer is going to give us a 3 2 series lead, but then two goals from both Hall and Malkin are forcing game 7. In game 7, Demko is going to stand on his head. He's picking up a 30 save shutout, and we're off to the conference finals. In the conference finals, we're taking on the Washington Capitals. A Patrick Kane OT winner is giving the Caps game 1, but three first period goals from Tampa is going to even the series. Game 3 was a close one, but two goals is enough, and Tampa's taking a 2-0 series lead. 3 on answer is going to give us a 3-1 series lead, but Washington is able to survive game 5 with a 4-1 win. In game 6, our Patrick Maroon and Zadina's pot in the OT winner, and we're off to the Stanley Cup final. In the Cup final, we're going to take on the Anaheim Ducks. We're about to complete the Patrick Maroon rebuilding challenge with not only one player, but we actually did it with two. Show it to Jared McCann. A Demko 26 save shots helping us take game 1, but two JVR goals is going to even the series at one game apiece. A Denisenko third period goal ends up being the winner, and we're taking a 2-1 series lead. Once again, the Ducks are going to be able to bounce back and they're answering in game four to even the series. In game five, Brad Marchand's pot in two goals and we're one game away from hoisting the cup. But the Ducks aren't going down easy. They're taking game six and we're head to game seven. And in game seven, we've done it. We've completed the Patrick Maroon rebuilding challenge. Brad Marchand, he was a crucial part of this team. 15 goals, 17 assists for 32 points. We couldn't have done it without you. But Thatcher Demko, we really couldn't have done it without you. 16 wins, a 922 save percentage, a 244 goals against. Thank you for saving this team. So technically, we did the double Maroon rebuilding challenge. McCann and Zadina did win three cups in a row. So things are looking great right now. Good work, my guys.